Probably one of the most underutilized functions in MarkEdit is the ability to harvest records via OAI into and directly into Mark um, through MarkEdit. Uh, as we create a lot of digital collections and libraries, we're finding that you know records are primarily being created in places like the institutional repositories or in our content management systems, and then we're having to do multiple record creation. Well, what MarkEdit does is it uh, basically provides a method for facilitating cross-pollination of databases. Um, if, for example, you're creating your records primarily your uh, electronic theses records primarily in your institutional repository like DSpacer and it provides an OAI provider, you can harvest these records directly into MARC. Um, if you open up MARC Edit, there's a function here called Harvest OAI Records. Let's click on that and from here we can see um, essentially how this works. MARC Edit can, um, I'm just going to select a one here because I've already defined one, um, but we can see here from this list, I've actually done a number of different sets where I've selected from my institutional repository. These are my image repositories. This is from, um, I believe it's uh, Pittsburgh State. And then these are the, um, the uh, Haiti Trust uh, from the University of Michigan uh, collection. So you can basically do harvesting from small to very large sets of records. Um, I'm select this one. Um, you set the set name. This is the name of the set for the records. Now if you leave this brand blank, it'll harvest the whole record set. Next, you have to set the metadata type. This is the metadata, this is what type of metadata you're going to be getting back from the OAI server. Um, pretty much everybody provides Dublin Core, so you can use Dublin Core. But some places, like the University of Michigan, provide their records back in MARC XML, which is the ideal. Um, in those cases, you could actually select uh, type mark XML. You can also select mods if mods is provided, or this um, specific mark format, which was de designed specifically for OAI mark. Um, here, this is the um, style sheets. These are provided by Mark Edit, and as you select different metadata types, it should automatically select those for you from the, uh, the application. But you can modify them yourself. Um, the modifications can be stored anywhere you like, but if you need to use, you wanted to modify the ones that were in Mark Edit, they're in this XSLT directory. Um, then there are some advanced settings in Mark Edit. You can get specific records, so if you have a record identifier, you can start a harvest from a specific resumption token. You can harvest from a start point into an end point using a date range, and you've got to make sure that the dates are specified in a way that the server would will like it, but you can do that. Um, since records are going to be coming back in UTF-8 format, and if your system supports only Mark 8, you can translate those on the fly. Um, and then you can harvest the data directly to a local file system rather than um, translating them into Mark. But for our case here, we're not going to set any of these advanced properties. We're just going to harvest the Braceros collection. So we click OK. Um, it's done the translation. And so we see a couple of things here. One. We see that the records have been translated. Two, we see what uh, MarkEdit looks like when it utilizes the preview mode. Um, this is what MarkEdit looks like in preview mode. I've set my preview mode to only load 500k of a record. There's 800k in this file, so it's only loaded the first 500k of the record. Now, if I was to do any global edits, if I was to save this record, if I was to compile this record, it would do those edits on the entire record set but it'll only ever load the first 500k in this preview mode. If I got tired of that, I could load the entire file by clicking on this link. Um, but that's essentially how you do the OAI process. That was on a very small record set of about 100 records, um, but it's essentially the same process for hundreds to tens of thousands of records. Um, essentially what MarkEdit's going to do is it's going to keep processing the records and is the server keeps sending back resumption tokens, it's going to keep following those tokens until it comes to the end. Either the server is going to stop responding or MarkEdit is going to get to the end of the record set. And if the server stops responding, MarkEdit will tell you that the server stopped responding and will tell you the last resumption token process. If it finishes, then it will tell you that it's finished and it will tell you the last resumption token process as well. Um, but that's essentially the OAI um, harvester in a nutshell.